Richard Bach has said, a soulmate is someone who has locks that fit your, our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open these locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're, we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. You are undoubtedly my soulmate and my best friend. We both knew that the moment we met, that we had such an unworldly connection, like we had known each other forever. I'm so lucky to have found my forever so early on in life, and I cannot wait for our adventure of a life together. There's no one I'd rather spend my life with, and I can't wait to grow a family with you. We are the perfect match. <laughs> you are goofy and weird. You are the smartest person I know. You are the most caring and considerate <laughs> person I've ever met. You are my other half, and I would not be complete without you. You are and have always been my rock, and I thank you for that. I am grateful for your love, and I vow to give you all of my love for the rest of our lives and beyond that. Today I take you as my husband, now, tomorrow, and in 50 years when we're old and gray. I take you as my husband every single day of my life, on the best days and on the worst. I will never stop fighting for us, because I know this love we have is something to be cherished forever. I love you with my whole heart. Love your wife. <laughs> Chloe Marie, I cannot begin to describe my excitement ahead of today. In just a few short hours, I will be married to the most spectacular person I have ever met, and that person is you. It has been you since I carried you out the door to your mom's car when I knew you could walk just fine. It has been you through every hard day, every tear, every smile, every passing glance throughout every day these past four and a half years. It has always been you. We both knew how special we were from the very beginning, and that is all that either of us needed. You have been my rock, and I have been yours, and I will never be able to express how much your love and compassion means to me. Chloe, you are truly the most beautiful woman on this planet, inside and out. Your limitless ability to care for others, make me laugh, and make me feel loved astounds me and all I can hope is that you will always know how loved and appreciated you are not only by me but by all of those around you. I am trying my hardest not to ramble or sound scattered but it is quite difficult as I am busting at the seams with emotions as I write each thought about onto you on this paper. So stick with me darling. To simply put how I am feeling into words you are everything. You are the brightest part of every single one of my days, whether it be playing with your pups, our pups, binging shows with you, soon to be your mom, working on our tails off to complete the latest project or simply just being in each other's presence. You are what makes everything have meaning. Anytime I see something neat or a cute dog or a new type of coffee or simply anything that brings a smile to my face, I always think of you. You bring beauty, joy, laughter, and love into my life, just to name a few, and I will be eternally grateful for how much you have helped me grow as an individual. I love you, Chloe Marie, forever, always. You are all that is good and all that is beautiful in my life. Now let's spend the rest of that life making wonderful memories with our own little wonderful family. Love your soon-to-be husband, Anthony.
And if I could have everybody please stand for just a moment. If you two would continue all the way up to Anthony, please. And then I want you to turn around and face me. And all the guests, you can all be seated now. Thank you. We are gathered here today to celebrate, witness, and bless the love and marriage of Anthony and Chloe. In a few short moments, you will exchange vows of marriage each to the other. And I would like to remind you both that although vows are spoken in a matter of minutes, they are promises that last a lifetime. Who gives Chloe's hand in marriage today? Thank you, sir. And Chloe and Anthony, if the, two, if the two of you would please face each other and join hands. To this day, each of you brings your love for one another as a treasure to share. As you know, someone who loves us gives us a piece of themselves, only they can give. Loving someone is reason to reach beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. The key to love is understanding the ability to comprehend not only the spoken words, but the unspoken gestures, the little things that mean so much. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting, but remembering what you have learned from them. The key to love is giving, without the thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and by giving in, but never giving up. The key to love is respect, realizing you're two separate people with different ideas but that you belong together and share a mutual bond. Anthony, do you take Chloe to be your loving wife, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live? I do. And Chloe, do you take Anthony to be your loving husband, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live? I do. And Anthony, sir, if you'd please repeat after me. I, Anthony, take you, Chloe. I, Anthony, take you, Chloe. To be my loving wife. To be my loving wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And Chloe, if you'd please repeat after me. I, Chloe, take you, Anthony. I, Chloe, take you, Anthony. To be my loving husband. To be my loving husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. And Anthony, do you have a token of sincerity to seal the promises you have made to Chloe? I do. <laughs> As you place that ring on her left ring finger, please repeat after me. You are my love, my life, my best friend. You are my love, my life, my best friend. And with this ring, I wed thee. And with this ring, I wed thee. Check that out. And Chloe, do you have a token of sincerity to seal yes. the promises you have made to Anthony? As you place that ring on his left ring finger, please repeat after me. You are my love, my life, my best friend. You are my love, my life, my best friend. And with this ring, I wed thee. And with this ring, I wed thee. And now, Chloe, I want you to hold Anthony's hands, palms up, on top of yours, just like that. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and vibrant with love, that are holding yours on your wedding day as he promises to love you all the days of his life. These are the hands that work alongside yours as together you build your future, as you laugh and cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for the lifetime of happiness. Now, Anthony, please hold Chloe's hands, palms up, where you may see the gift they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, smooth and carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day as she pledges her love and commitment to you all the days of her life. These are the hands that will bring a tender touch after you've both had a long, hard day. These are the hands that will hold you in joy and excitement through the happy times 
and holds you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. Anthony and Chloe, remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration and difficulty or fear assail your relationship, as it does in all relationships, at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. And as much as Anthony and Chloe have consented to be lawfully married and have sealed that promise with the giving and receiving of rings each to the other, by the virtue of the power vested in me, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Anthony, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Shirelli. <laughs> <laughs> this way? Okay.
Okay. So about Chloe. <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> Loves her mama. Loves her doggies. And America too. Loves horses. And her boyfriend too. Wait a second. That's, that's part of the, 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 the playlist. Tom Petty, sorry. So, life's a journey. Kind of like the trip for everyone getting here. So, part of the journey was with Chloe. She was involved in a lot of sports. Um, played most of her life. Soccer, lacrosse, basketball. She learned a lot of life lessons. Taught her to be the best you, the best you you can be. They taught her toughness, physical and mental, tenacity. When I was writing a speech, one person kept coming to mind that reminded me of Chloe. If any of you watch football, Julian Edelman, we hate that guy. <laughs> but if any football player was like Chloe, it's Julian Edelman, not big, but just a, hmm, unbelievable. <laughs> Taught her determination, nothing was ever too big, won state championships, all that kind of stuff. And how to handle adversity. Important traits to deal with when you're going through life. Okay, so this isn't about me, but it's a little story that when I was a little kid, you know, if I had like a pain in my elbow or something like that, or my leg, I'd have my mom, hey, touch, touch, touch that pain right there. And I thought that they would feel it or she would feel it. Um, it's kind of like what we as parents, when our kids feel pain or ups and downs, we feel it too. And we want you, and, and you know, you don't have kids yet, but that's what it's like for a parent. We go, we feel the ups, we feel the downs, we celebrate all that with you. And it's not about, because we're all going to get knocked down in life, it's about how many times you get up. And that's, that's real important with some of these sports and what it's taught you. And it'll help you carry going, going forward. Because in sports and life, it's all about want to. You know, determination. If you want to, you will get it done. And that's what I know you have in you, both of you. And as, as a coach, I coach a lot of kids and hopefully they're, you know, I didn't ruin any of them, but I probably did. Anyway, that's what I do. I'm a talent evaluator. And some things in life that I remember vividly are the birth of my children, obviously. Uh, the first time I saw Belisa stroll by, it was, oh, unbelievable. <laughs> and, and, hey, and meeting and speaking with Anthony for the first time. I can't tell you what we talked about, but I just remember being so impressed with Anthony as a young man. He wasn't there to do anything. He was just there and he's being just a good kid and talking and just, just a great kid. I was really impressed. And so it brings me to like friendship and all the friends and family that you've known in your lifetime. It's not about how long you've known somebody. Sometimes it is, but it doesn't necessarily equate to friendship and lifelong friendship. It's more about the quality of the friendship. And it's important to find those people in your life and never let them go. And, and as far as family, sometimes it's blood. Sometimes it's your social family. You know, as you know, friends come and go, but lasting friends become family. So, parting wisdom, communicate thoughtfully. Work hard, play harder. And I got a quote from a man 
Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> K-L-I-V-I-N. Living like the Buffets. Jimmy, that is. Not one. Life is a highway. As the gaudy high roller says, you're on the road to success. Raise your glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Shirelli.
I knew I still had Chloe as a friend, and she knew she had me. I remember when Chloe first brought Anthony over. To, first brought Anthony over. I was fully prepared to give a full evaluation of this boy. <laughs> I was watching every move he made to make sure his intentions were good. He was coming into her life at a very fragile point, and he was not about to add any stress to her life. <laughs> if Bob, Melissa, and I had any say in it, you probably wouldn't have came into her life at the time. But somehow, you managed to impress us all just by walking through the door and carrying yourself in such a mature manner. They hit it off from the beginning. They just fed off of each other's energy, and watching them interact, you just knew we'd be here today. He impressed not only Bob and Melissa, but a very big room full of very judgmental 15-year-old girls. So let's give him a round of applause for that. As you guys begin this next chapter in your relationship, I hope you never seem to lose the puppy dog love that you guys have shared throughout these years. I hope you still continue to date each other. I hope, and I hope you still continue to grow together. Watching you two from the beginning of your story to now is so endearing, because you two truly show people how much love, how much happiness love can bring you. I wish you two nothing but the best, and cheers to you.
Yeah, first one's a blank to get it started. It's okay, we'll see. All oh, right. <laughs> it looks like it was going to come this out. This is so pretty <laughs> when out here, though. It's I love quiet. It. Expose. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty. Oh, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> good. Pretty, guys. Okay, good. And then maybe kiss. Good. Beautiful.
stop, stop touching it. It's uh, aperture. Right. This one's. So